Hey, YouTube believers, Chris Matt coming at you with Batman 103. And I've continually enjoyed this run. It was very much a nice change of pace from um, Tom King's run. If, if uh, <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about, that, that run was absolutely horrible. Um, I like in this particular run that we're going with against Ghostmaker that Bruce, in a sense, has met his match. Um, I don't remember if they referenced who this guy's name is. But he was essentially training the same places that Bruce was. And every time he learned something new, he wanted to try to take Bruce down and humiliate him. And then I liked that they're kind of yin and yang because the uh, Ghostmaker has no s scruples, no moral code as where Bruce does. And Ghostmaker even says, your emotions are what are going to make you fail. And that's kind of where we, we left off with issue 102 saying, Whoever wins in a fight against this gets to claim Gotham as its true crime fighter. Oop, and as I go to drop my phone, sorry guys, my newer one's heavy and I'm not used to holding it the way that I am with other ones. So anyway, this is called Ghost Stories Part 2. James Tinney in writing, Carlo Poguela and Danny Minky, Golem March doing the art, David Barron colors, Clayton Cowell's letters, Jorge Jimenez and Tomu Moray doing the cover. Here's everyone else working on the book, Batman created by Bill Finger with Bob Kane. And I like that even though Batman can still show up to Ghostmaker to a degree, he even says, you know, I, um, I beat you in every fight that we had. This man that is still smart, he's telling Barbara, you won't get this guy on any record. You won't find his name in any international database. You need to stop trying. If you brush up against his computer system, it's going to eat yours alive. And I like how Batman says... This guy, he's just still upset that I made fun of him when he was 15 years old. And he's even more upset that I've been beating him every time we've gone head-to-head -head since I turned 20. And where the whole meat and potatoes of the book is laid is in this panel where Ghostmaker is saying um, there's a lot of work to do in Gotham. I leaked the activities of 14 different district judges to the Gotham Gazette. I solved a string of homicides for the police that hadn't even linked together, which was a serial killer. And then he's like, and I also alerted um, the FBI of six incoming shipments of heavy artillery from Santa Prisco. That was before I left my plane, Bruce. And I like how, yes, there's talking, but unlike when we were going over Inferno, how was it like sitting and talking, sitting and talking, and it didn't feel like there's any progression. They're at least fighting. You know, we're, we got the opening page with a little bit of sitting and talking that set up more of why this guy is such a threat. And then we get into seeing how he's a threat. Instead of like, again, in Inferno where, okay, Destiny's the threat, but instead of doing anything really new with it, we just reference back to House of, uh, Powers of, no, it was House of X number two. Here, <coughs> we're seeing how he can really flip on Batman, how this Ghostmaker can turn and work and just fight like a wild dog. And it shows because he gets stabbed and just kind of starting to really get his ass kicked. And this is where him and Harley kind of reconnect. And again, there's this moment with Clown Hunter, which I'm kind of on the fence about. His one shot really kind of irked me. If you guys want to check out the review on that, there was so much potential there and they wasted it on tropes. But as you can see here, Ghostmaker, a real threat. And then I don't want to spoil here how Batman says this is how I'm able to essentially not one-up you, but how I do my homework better than you do. How he kind of how he's saying Ghostmaker goes half cocked, but how Bruce is able to play the long game and always succeed as Batman does, you know, and there's times where he fails, but he always does his best. And Ghostmaker essentially says, I'm gonna take you off the board. I'm gonna show you what, uh, what type of crime fighter this city actually needs, because he does not listen to Batman. It's just in one ear and out the other. Like when at the beginning when they're both sitting in the sand, he wants to fight Bruce, and Bruce's like, not today. And he goes, What's wrong? This isn't you. And he's like, you care? And he's like, no, I don't care. I don't have those emotions that show that he's an actual sociopath. But Bruce explains to him what it is. And he goes, I'm sorry. I thought you didn't have emotions. And he goes, I'm not sorry about that. 
I'm sorry that with your emotions, you're gonna fail. So I like that this Ghost Maker really is giving Batman a run for his money. Each arc thus far, I mean, I know they're, they're further up in the teens now, but I'm taking my time. And each installment that I've read, there's always entertainment, there's action, there's drama, there's talking. It has everything that you want in the book. The artwork is always amazing. And I like that for the most part, other than the opening, you can't really see the transition between artists. It feels like one fluid book, as it should. And again, kind of going back to my uh, Krakoa review, where the cover was Moira standing around all these presumably dead X-Men. It had nothing to do with what was inside the book. As we're here, we hit, this is a variant, obviously, but we got Batman, got Ghostmaker, we got Harley. We at least see the key players in the book, minus Ghost Hunter. So as you can see, this is a short video, but it just seems like when I enjoy the book more, and it's just like a single floppy issue, time goes by because time flies when you're having fun. And I had a lot of fun reading this book. I can't wait to jump into 104. So if you guys have enjoyed this comic book, please first and foremost support your local comic shop and pick up a copy. And I would say eat them up because issue 117 is supposed to be Tinian's last installment on this book. And then I think Joshua Williamson's taken it over at that point. And if you've enjoyed this review, we really would appreciate if you take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. Helps the club channel more than you could possibly know. And if you won't mind hitting that fancy little bat bell next to subscribe, that way we can upload content so you guys get notified. Come to the channel, and we love talking with you all and hearing your feedback down in the comments below or our social media pages, which I'll make sure to leave the links down in the description. So with all that said, thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you all continue to have an absolutely amazing day reading, and happy hunting, true believers.